Hey, Kevin, what are you doing? Well, I did a video the other day on the Evo Mag magnetic drill using an annular cutter. Let me show you the difference between annular cutters and twist drills. So this is an annular cutter. It's hollow. It's got six cutting tips on the edge of it. And it's sort of got a little cutting edge actually on this outside. But this is not something you would move sideways through a piece of metal like an end mill. This is something just made to go straight down and straight back up again with the cutting heads here boring its way down through. The little cutting edge on this is actually acting like a ream and it's just cleaning up the wall. It's just cleaning up the hole that you're making. So it's just square, straight, smooth, just so pretty, pretty of a cut. Another one of the cool little things about the annular cutters is well, this silly little shaft. It's like, what, is, what does this thing do? Well, it goes inside the cutter. And then when you're cutting in the metal, this thing is actually being pushed up inside the cutter head itself, all the way up inside here, depending on how thick of a piece of metal you're cutting. So this is the plug that came out of the piece of half inch plate that I drilled. So when you finish drilling and you retract the cutter up out of the metal, there's actually a plunger up inside the drill and it's gonna push on the top of this and push the plug out of the cutter. So what's one of the big advantages of using an annular cutter over a twist drill? That's all of the surface that you have to cut. That's all the metal you have to remove. It's just that wide and however deep you're going. With a twist drill, you have to remove that whole one inch worth of metal. You have to drill all of that out rather than that little tiny bit right there. So the annular cutters are gonna be much faster. They're gonna be much cleaner. It's gonna give you a better looking hole. They'll increase production. And you don't have to drill a pilot hole, do you? But that's, that's correct. If I was gonna drill a one inch hole with a twist drill, I'd drill like a quarter inch hole, then I'd jump up to a half inch hole, then I could either jump from the half inch to one inch, or if I was being correct, I would jump from half inch to three quarters, then jump up to one inch. The downside with the annular cutters, you can't use them in a regular drill press. You have to have that little plunger inside there in order to push this down to push the plug back out again. So you have to have a drill specifically set up for annular cutters in order to use them. As you can see, this set is from Evolution. I got it to go with the Evolution magnetic drill. So hopefully that clears up any confusion there may be between the annular cutters and the twist drill. And just to help keep you even more informed and more clear-headed, reach down there and hit that subscribe button for me so you can find out what I'm going to do next week. This is actually acting like a um, poof right out of my head.